Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be taking you through three similar code examples in JavaScript because I think we can all learn something from what I'm about to show you. All right, now all of these three examples achieve a similar thing. They declare a variable called A, then they attempt to console log that particular variable, but they all give us a different outcome. So I encourage you to pause the video right here and try to work out what each of these three code examples are going to give us. And then once you're done, I'm going to take you through each one individually. So let's do that right now. So beginning with the first code example, let's try to run this uh, script. I'll say node example 01.js, press enter and we get an error. So we get here, A is not defined. Now, why do we get this error? Well, at the top here, we can see we are using let to declare this variable. Now, the thing is both let and const are block scoped. Now, block scoped means that they only exist within the block they are declared in. So we can see here by using curly braces like this, we are creating a block, which means on line five console log, it can't even see a at all. It basically doesn't exist to the console log line. Okay, so really, this here applies in real examples when you have things like if else statements, and also something like a function. So anywhere that has a block using let and const, the variable cannot be accessed outside of that block, which of course explains the error at the bottom. Now, moving on to the second example, let's do node example 02.js and this one gives us undefined as opposed to an error. So why do we get undefined? Well, this ties back to uh, the block scoping. So at the top here, it's identical to the first example. And as we know, console log a can't see the a that is declared inside this block. So really we can pretend that this block doesn't exist at all. So why do we get undefined? Because of course we have, we have 10 and we have 20, but undefined is not one of those two numbers. So why do we get it? Well, this is due to something called hoisting. So hoisting uh, essentially just means that when your code gets executed and you are using uh, the var keyword to declare your variable, something happens in the background. So to express that visually, let's uh, go to the top of this file here and say var a just like that. And then down below we can say a equal to 20. So hoisting at the time of executing your code, it's going to take your var declared variable and then say var a at the top. And then it's going to give it its value when you said uh, you want to give it its value. So your code doesn't actually change, but I'm just expressing here visually what happens in the background. So it reaches line seven and A does actually exist, but it has no value, which is why we get undefined. If we were to move console log A underneath line nine, then of course we'd get 20, but the point is A actually exists, but it has no value, which explains undefined as opposed to an error. All right. Now, one important thing to mention here, or two important things. The first important thing is that uh, this also applies to functions. So if you declare a variable with var inside your function, then it does the same thing, but it moves the variable at the top of the function as opposed to the entire script. And the second important thing is I am not encouraging you to use the var keyword because it has its problems. And this right here is arguably one of its problems. So instead, of course, you should use let and const instead where possible. Now, moving on to the third example here, we can see that we're saying var a equal to 10 and then var a equal to 20, just like we've done uh, in the uh, second example. But if I was to run this one, we can see here that we actually get 10 as the output as opposed to undefined. Now, the explanation behind this one is rather simple. When using var, once again, it is not 
block scoped. Only let and const are block scoped. This means that when you use the var keyword inside a block, it's basically like the block doesn't exist at all. So doing var a equals 10 here is essentially the same as just doing var a equals 10, then the block instead. So of course, it's quite simple. A is equal to 10, you console.log that A and you are done. So what is the moral of the story? Why did I create this video? Well, I just wanted to shed some light on the differences between const, let and var, in particular, how blocks can affect the outcome. And if I was to sum up this video in one line, I would say, try to prioritize using const where possible and then use let when you can't use const. And also try to avoid using var in almost every situation because chances are you can replace that with const and let. And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.